All right, next team coming in here is going to be 9225. We've been working hard the uh, last couple of days here, a couple of great demonstrations that we've seen so far, but a lot of progress made by you guys. I know last night working really hard. So tell us more about your team and your robot you've been working on here in just 30 hours. Okay, so I'm uh, Aditya. I'm Vance. Oh, we've been focusing on just trying to put as many pixels on the backstage as possible. And that's just been our main focus on finding like a way to put them fast and like efficiently. This video on fun is made possible by viewers like you and also the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Um, and then after we bring it up, so yeah, we have two wheels that go in opposite directions and then they suck in the pixels and then we put, we like push them back out once we get to the stage in opposite directions. So they land onto the stage. Can you talk about your arm design a little bit more? You have a couple degrees of freedom uh, in your arm. What made you choose this design for your robot? All right, yeah, so basically we wanted to have it, like, be able to go, like, big distance, like, be long so it can reach the higher p stages of the backstage, but we also want it to be fit under the the 14 in or the 14 inch bar. So, like, we had to have it, like, have multiple servos to bend, and, and like, yeah, we have a wrist that we can kind of angle the pixels so it'll f fit onto the backstage without having to, like, fall off or without the risk of having it fall off. Uh, I noticed you guys uh, have a climbing mechanism as well, too. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? And show it off, of course. Yeah, so, so basically we have, like, a hook at the back of our arm, and then this just allows us to... Uh, it allows us just to hook onto the thing and then hang on. Wow, that's really quick. That's pretty impressive, guys. So one of the things I love about that is just how passive it is. I mean, you obviously have the arm moving itself, right? But the actual claw itself, you're not doing anything for. Talk to me about yeah. uh, why that was a uh, good choice for your team going with something simple like that. Yeah, we thought this was just a simple, like a, we didn't want to try and do, do too much of like, and find a simple and easy way of like getting those points. With, and that wasn't like, it wasn't like hard to add it on to our arm because we already had an arm and we just wanted to like add a simple me mechanism so that we could get those extra points. Uh, is there anything else on your robot that you want to tell us about before we get to any questions? Yeah, so um, basically we can, we are able to like reach the first two levels with consistency um, of like the backstage, but then the third stage we'll, we'll still, we still like have need to trouble. We still have trouble a little bit with the consistency, but, and we're still working on it. All right, let's grab a couple questions from our uh, chat coming in. All right. Um, well, well, there's no, like, pl plan as in, like, that, but just make sure you're not, like, trying to rush and bump into the backstage and knock the pixels off. Just try and be a little careful with the way we place them. But they usually don't fall off as many when we go through our practice run. All right. Ad BB asks, are there any ideas for improving the claw? Um... Not ne not at the moment, but we'll we'll still see after we like go through a couple more practice runs to see if like we can. Oh yeah, we're we're still trying. We can only fit one of the pixels onto the, into the claw claw and then put it on. But we're trying to get two because that's and we're trying to just make it more efficient. Like that. I'm getting a lot of questions about what is powering your arm. Is it servos? Is it motors? Thirty RPM motors powering the arm, so they're high torque, but they're not super fast. But it's able to hold the robot when we need to climb, and able to make the arm go up extra high, so we can drop the pixels at high heights. All right, I think we got time for uh, two more questions. So let's take two more uh, for this uh, 9225 team. All right, Mayor Cosman asks, "What odometry configuration do you use?" We use Roadrunner, and then we have the three dead wheels on the bottom for our autonomous 
which so far we have it where it can drop one on and then park for a couple points. All right, we're going to grab one more question. Of course, if we have more, uh, we'll grab 9225 to answer those after. All right, last question is from Alligator17. Are you guys planning on using the drones? Um, we're still, like, figuring out a way to do that, but that's – we're still figuring out a way to do that, but, like, our major – our first priority is just working on getting as many pixels on the backstage, and then later we can see if, like, we want to use the drone. The big plan with our drone is we're planning on making one either the control hub or expansion hub go horizontal, leaving half the robot open, just space for a drone. So it gives great space and good opportunity to get the extra 30, 20, or 10 points. Awesome. Well, good luck here uh, during the robot in 30 hours. Uh, what was probably your favorite thing you learned from the 30 hours experience this year? Uh, my greatest experience is just what you can get done in the 30 hours and seeing how everyone else used their time because this is our first year doing it and it was amazing to see how everyone else built and I think you guys did amazing too audience what do you think pretty good job here especially a climber love it this video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors at Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.